Hello from Slovenia again. <clears throat> Today I will do a mixing video. I will show you how I mix uh, my pouring medium and how I mix it with my paints that I use mostly for my flower dips but except the bloom technique and except the bloom technique I use the same pouring medium and the same ratios but I don't measure things so I will just try to show it to you anyway so products that I am using for my pouring medium are Gardi acrylic binder from Bessner. Maybe this is not um, helpful for you in the USA, but I think that you can find something similar. So it said high quality synthetic resin dispersion binder. <clears throat> Thick consistency can be tinned with water, causes hardly any smell. Mishable to produce acrylic paints there that are insoluble with the water when dry, dried and the primer ground on fabric supports for painting. So this is the first ingredient. I pour it and I just think that I add it a little bit too much. I will just pour some of this out because I added too much. When I started I mixed this um, uh, 50 50 or 1 to 1 ratio. 1 to 1 with my uh, other <coughs> Product, but now I mix it um, seventy percent, and I I think that this works uh, the best. So let me let's try to do this. You see how thick this binder is so this is and I just have something I think you see just have a little I didn't strain it I forgot like uh, with float roll you can you have some of these um, blocks not blocks what is this I don't know uh, when this dries uh, you get some of this um, dry pieces of this binder so this is my binder and I mix it with this acrylic emulsion it says acrylic hydrosol hydrosol I don't know what is uh, the right word so I talk about uh, emulsions uh, before. Um, some of them call this uh, acrylic emulsion, some of them call this acrylic primer. We prime our walls with this when we want to, I don't know, I have uh, blue walls now in my kitchen and when I will um, paint my walls I will first um, prime it with this so that uh, these two colors my blue and let's say uh, green that I will put next will bind together so it's a, a kind of glue or a binder for the two paints on the wall bind together and I I experiment and experiment and you know that uh, before I used only this 
but uh, because it's so I will pour some in my cup because this is so thin uh, you use uh, a lot more paint so that's why I uh, try to find something uh, you see this is like water totally like water and you use a lot of paint but it works only with these two but I now I find this and now I mix these two together and as I said I put already 70 <gasps> and this is what it look like when you <laughs> try to measure things because I don't measure when I do this um, for my own I just I'll eyeball it about 70% of this and 30% of my emulsion maybe I should start measuring but uh, that's I don't know that's how I am uh, when I cook or bake I don't measure neither I don't like to measure when you're baking you have to but uh, that's why I don't like to bake so I will put just some more and this is one liter in total now and now I will mix this and you have to mix uh, this uh, for some time to mix two, these two ingredients together but uh, I already told you in some of my videos that I really 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 love to mix I love to mix my pouring medium I love to mix my paints and sometimes when I have uh, all my paints in squeeze bottles already I'm just uh, I just miss uh, my mixing part because um, I find this so relaxing and I don't know I just love it I have to say that I love it I love to mix paints and I love to pour I just love every part of this um, process except cleaning I have to say I have something in here I don't like to clean afterwards because I'm in my kitchen again and I have to clean everything every day if I pour so this is not the, the part that I enjoy and sometimes I don't uh, like to varnish my paintings I like the process when you varnish them and you see that they, they the colors um, are alive again but I don't know I, I if you ask me I will, would just pour and all the other things and I forget to tell you I hate cleaning my squeeze bottles because this is such a nasty process I just don't like to because you can't clean this in your kitchen and uh, because you will your uh, you can't uh, uh, phew, I don't know the word um, you have to throw this uh, water when you clean you don't want to um, get this to your uh, kitchen Whoa, I don't know what's the word <laughs> maybe somebody in the comments understood me and will write so I hate cleaning my squeeze bottles too 
So, back to my pouring medium. And this is the consistency of my pouring medium, you see, and it's... If I go, I will just try no, to show you. Real high and still flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing and just flowing. So, and back. This is the consistency of my pouring medium. And now my pouring medium is done. Oops, sorry. And now I will mix one paint to show you how I mix it. I always put my pouring medium first because uh, uh, and I add about a half of a cup of pouring medium and I will mix this manganese phthalo blue blue phthalo I just love this uh, color from Amsterdam it's so beautiful and I add about I don't know half no so I mix this I should say one part paint to three parts of my pouring medium. Mix this and this mix uh, mix is really 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 nice. So uh, that's why I love this mixing part because it's not hard. Sorry, I just. I was just out of frame, so I will. So, see, and this is the consistency of this mixture right now. So, three parts pouring medium to one part paint, I should say. And here comes the water. I use just the regular water so and I put a little bit of the time and mix it <clears throat> and because I will put this in my squeeze bottle I will leave this a little thicker because I will add a little water a little more water when I will clean all the paint out of my cup so let's take you back take you closer just that I will be able to show you the consistency so this is the consistency of my paint before I pour it into my squeeze bottles. And I mix them all the same. The base coat is the same consistency uh, and all the other colors are the same consistency. But you see they're really, really I don't know, creamy and I just love this pouring medium that I use and you see I just hate this because I just can't um, clean this all the way and uh, I don't have any of these squeeze bottles that they, that there were blue before so I have to grab this one and this bothers me a little bit but I can help it and then I pour this into my squeeze bottle I normally do 
um, full uh, of this paint but today I just didn't and then I add a little more water scrape the paint into the cup and mix this well so this is this the this is the way that I clean my cup because I really really don't want to lose any paints because all these products are expensive <clears throat> when you use uh, a student or professional grade of acrylic paints not uh, hobby paints but some hobby paints are expensive too so you see this is just tin 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 paint and then I pour this how can I, I don't know to my squeeze bottle Scrape this as much as I can. Put the lid on, or what is the word <laughs> again? And as I said many times, I'm a messy painter. I have, I always have mess, and maybe I didn't grab the right top for this squeeze bottle because I have different squeeze bottles but it will be okay sorry and then I just shake this and this is my consistency you see and this is it this is how I mix my paints uh, I don't know if this helps anyone especially in the States because um, all these uh, products are from Europe but you can google for these products and maybe if you if you read uh, the ingre ingredients then you can find something similar uh, in your country because I think that uh, this works really really nice together maybe I can show you how I mix my pearl white now when I'm here for my pearl white I use this pearl medium from Vallejo and I will put a little bit I will not do much because I I have my whole bottle uh, of my pearl white here so and then I will add Titanium white. I use this Bessner titanium white about I don't know a third of this. I think I don't know. I don't measure. I just uh, <laughs> and then I just add this. <clears throat> pearl medium into this mixture and then you will see that you will get this um, pearl white I just watch and I think that I will so probably is one to one this pearl medium to 
paint and pouring medium mixture to get this effect that I get in some of my paintings. I mixed, uh, I mix uh, added the other day my pearl white and I didn't add enough of this pouring uh, pearl medium in it and I didn't get nice result and this is okay to pour into my cup when I will when I will <clears throat> uh, have some space in the cup so now I will mix um, this uh, Phthalo tur turquoise blue of the camera <clears throat> and um, in my next video I will use this um, manganese blue that I mixed you will know that because it has this uh, and uh, some other paints and this uh, turquoise for my flower dip so this is it for today I hope that I uh, help you with uh, understanding my ratios I really don't uh, can't give you the total um, you have to play with your consistency and uh, add I know that some of you have a limited budgets I have it too before now I have I, I can experiment because all of you but uh, before my YouTube channel I I spent uh, I should say thousands of dollars in the products because I try to find something that it's work for me and this is work for me so thank you all for being a part of my YouTube family and I hope that this video helps you and see you on the next one. Bye!